It's a riddle that can probably stump anyone. What does this have in common with this? Or even this? Both rely on a substance that's not so good for your heart, but oh so crucial for getting your car to go zoom. It's cooking oil. You're probably asking, doesn't a car need gasoline? Something made from a completely different set of hydrocarbons? Yes, but used cooking oil can be turned into so-called biofuels or biodiesel to make it combustible enough for engines. It's a trend that's proving to be a win-win for both restaurants and fuel producers. Restaurants on average generate more than 50 gallons of used grease every week. Before the process of repurposing got started, owners had to pay hundreds of dollars just to get rid of rancid cooking oil. Nowadays, that unwanted grease is in high demand. Over the past four years, there's been a serious bidding war uh, going on between restaurants and other companies that collect the oil. So it's really brought a value to this waste stream. But it's not just a money-making opportunity. For some, it's an industry that's geared towards sparing the environment from more greenhouse gases, as well as saving money for a rainy day. I want to save money. Um, you know, I want to be in a position where I'm not um, you know, isolated from fuel where I can't drive a vehicle, and I genuinely am concerned about what, you know, the impact that we're doing to the environment. As the trend gets more popular, maybe it's time for fans of fast food to get a little worried, because they may have to compete with cars to get their fix. All the regular stuff on? Okay. Ahmad Koo, CCTV.